Welcome everyone. My name is Zan Ta with Repo Products. This is a screencast video on the measuring tools within AutoCAD. Here I am in AutoCAD 2017. And if you head over to the Home tab of the ribbon, there is a panel called Utilities. And in there, there is the Measure command. This command gives us the ability to figure out what is the distance between two objects, the radius of an object, the angle of two objects, the area of objects, so on and so forth. This is actually not the dimensioning command. Some people get confused. You're actually not creating a distance um, linear dimension. That's actually here and over here in the Annotate tab, which we'll cover in another screencast video. So let's start with the distance command. Click the command, and it will ask you in the command line to pick two points. So we'll pick the first point. And if you have your object snaps turned on, it makes life a little easier. Click it. And as you drag your mouse, you'll notice that the distance is automatically showing. If I click another point, I'll get graphically on the screen that distance, 2311 and a half. But also, you'll get the angle as a default. You'll also notice, too, that when you do the distance command, let's do this again from the beginning, there is, after you click the first point, Instead of clicking the second point in the command line, you'll notice there is this multiple points option. And if I click this, then it's going to do a running total. So if I click out here, and then here, and then here, you'll get the distances in the command line. If you need to see the data a little bit easier, you can hit F2 on your keyboard and it'll open up the AutoCAD text window. And let me pull that over from the other screen. And this is what it looks like. Back to AutoCAD. And so that's the distance command. If we do some of the other commands, for example, radius, you're picking an object, for example, this arc, or say this arc, and you'll get the radius, and it pops up and tells you what the radius is. But it also tells you the diameter. When you're in the measuring command, by the way, uh, after you complete the first request, it'll stay in the command, and you can actually just pick from the drop-down list, or you can pick from the contextual tabs here, uh, contextual icons down here. So let's say we do angle. And that's when they want you to select two different objects. So let's say I pick this object, and I pick another object, and I'll get that angle. Area is if I want to pick points, and it will define the area that I want. If I want to do a simple, say, rectangular area, I can left-click and hold, left-click each point like this. And again, if you have your snaps turned on, it makes life easier. It colors the area, and if you're finished, you hit Enter. And it'll tell you the area in square inches and in square feet, depending on the units set up on the drawing. Um, if you want, you can check volume as well uh, with an entity that is a, a 3D entity. One of the things also with the area command that you may uh, like to know is that there may be a situation where you need to figure out the area of a certain object minus other areas of an object within. So let's say, for example, we'll come over here, and we'll draw a spline, and let's just pretend that this is a golf course. And we'll finish that. We'll create a little circle, say, over here, where the hole is that you got to get the ball into. Let's say we create some sand traps here and do another one, say, over here. And the request by the client is he would like to know how much green area there is here, minus the hole and minus the uh, sand pits, if you will. In order to do this, you use the area command. When you use the area command, you'll also notice that you have object, add area, subtract area, and exit. Object is just you picking a particular object. It'll highlight that object and give you the total. You're done. However, in this situation, we want to find the difference between this minus these three holes, if you will. 
So I'll start the measure area command again. And this time I'll pick add area and then pick the main object. I'll hit enter because I'm finished picking objects that are part of the addition aspect of the area command. And then I'll pick subtract area of the objects that I select, which are the sand. And you'll notice that it colors a different shade. When you're finished, you hit enter. And you'll get in the command line the total area. And again, it's dependent upon the units that you have set up. So this is how you use the area command to figure out another area of objects minus certain other objects inside. This was just a quick screencast video on some of the measuring commands within AutoCAD. Thank you very much for watching.